Aer Lingus cancelled 12 flights yesterday and three today. The company has apologised. It said a COVID surge among staff and air traffic control strikes in France, Italy and Spain had caused the cancellations. For more, we're joined by Owen Corrie, editor of Air and Travel magazine. Morning again, Owen. What's going on here? Uh, good morning, Gavin. It's uh, one Aer Lingus gone today. It's the late Brussels. Um, the other two out of Dublin Airport are the WestJet, the Toronto and the KL Amsterdam. It's a bit of a serial casualty to staff shortages. A couple of things. Um, the most important thing that affected the weekend was the return of the spectre of air traffic control uh, strikes in, in France. Uh, Marseille has been responsible for about 30% of the strikes uh, during busy periods, the last busy period, 2018. 2019. What tends to happen then, Gavin, is uh, the air traffic control says to, to airlines you have to cancel a certain percentage of your flights that are not just flying to and from France but also overflying. Barcelona is particularly hit by this and the Italian routes are hit. So we lost um, some of the Aer Lingus flights yesterday. We lost a total uh, and we also lost some non-Aer Lingus flights yesterday. But uh, it does look like we're going back into a summer where air traffic control strikes will uh, disrupt our schedules and cause not just uh, cancellations but delays and unlike the things like cabin crew strikes these guys have a huge amount of power they can actually ground flights and can people get their money back for missing holidays as a result of um, the compensation uh, procedures for airlines um, are very, very well set in, in, first of all, the EU 261 regulations, but also a huge body of case law uh, to the extent that there are, there are entire court systems in France just devoted to aviation claims. So you are entitled to compensation. At one stage, the airlines used to argue that air traffic control strikes were beyond their control, uh, but they lost the case law case and that obviously they're very cranky about that. Owen, thank you. That's uh, Owen Corrie, editor of Air and Travel magazine.